You know, when we think about climate change, it often feels like this massive, overwhelming problem that we can't really do anything about. The news is filled with doom and gloom, and it's easy to feel helpless. But what if I told you that there's a way we can tackle this challenge right at the source? Yes, I'm talking about agriculture. It's not just about growing food. It's about growing it smartly, sustainably, and in a way that respects our planet. Enter climate smart agriculture. Now, before you roll your eyes and think, oh great, another buzzword, let me break it down for you. Climate smart agriculture, your CSA for short, is all about finding ways to produce food that not only meets our needs today, but also protects our resources for tomorrow. It's like having your cake and eating it too, but instead of cake, we're talking about crops, livestock, and the environment. So how does it work? First off, CSA focuses on three main goals, increasing productivity, enhancing resilience, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Sounds fancy, right? But at its core, it's about being smart with how we farm. Let's dive into what that looks like in practice. One of the simplest methods is crop rotation. Now, I know what you're thinking. That sounds boring, but hear me out. Crop rotation is like a refreshing change of scenery for the soil. Instead of planting the same crop year after year, farmers mix it up by alternating different types of crops. This not only helps to keep pests and diseases at bay, but also improves soil health. Healthy soil means better yields and less need for chemical fertilizers, which is a win-win for both the farmer and the environment. Then there's agroforestry, which is basically combining agriculture with forestry. Imagine a farm where trees and crops grow side by side. The trees provide shade, reduce soil erosion, and even enhance biodiversity. Plus, they act like natural air conditioners, helping to regulate temperatures. It's like creating a mini ecosystem that benefits everyone involved. Farmers get better yields, and we get cleaner air and a healthier planet. But let's not forget about water management. Water is a precious resource, and with climate change, we're seeing more extreme weather patterns, droughts, floods, you name it. That's where practices like rainwater harvesting come into play. Farmers can collect and store rainwater using it during dry spells. It's a simple yet effective way to ensure crops get the moisture they need without relying solely on unpredictable rainfall. And speaking of water, have you ever heard of drip irrigation? It's like giving your plants a spa day. Instead of flooding fields with water, drip irrigation delivers water directly to the roots of the plants in a slow, steady stream. This not only conserves water, but also reduces the risk of disease and improves crop quality. It's efficient, effective, and a brilliant way to adapt to changing climate conditions. Now, let's talk about livestock. Raising animals is essential for many farmers, but it can also contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. Enter Climate Smart Livestock Management. Farmers are adopting practices like rotational grazing, where livestock are moved from one pasture to another. This allows the grass in the grazed area to recover and grow back stronger, sequestering carbon in the process. It's a natural way to enhance soil health and reduce emissions. Plus, happy animals lead to better meat and dairy products. It's a circle of life thing, right? And what about technology? We're living in the digital age, most and agriculture is no exception. Precision farming uses data and technology to make farming more efficient. Think GPS guided tractors and drones that monitor crop health. Farmers can analyze soil conditions, moisture levels, and even pest populations, allowing them to make informed decisions about when to plant, irrigate, or apply fertilizers. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Now, you might be wondering how all of this impacts you personally. Well, it's pretty significant. When farmers adopt climate smart practices, they're not just helping themselves, they're contributing to a more stable food supply, reducing the likelihood of price spikes and promoting healthier ecosystems. And guess what? You can support these practices by choosing to buy from local farmers who prioritize sustainability it's like casting your vote for a healthier planet every time you shop. But let's not kid ourselves. 
Transitioning to climate-smart agriculture isn't without its challenges. Many farmers face barriers like lack of access to resources, knowledge, and financial support. That's where we all come in. Advocacy for policies that support sustainable farming practices is crucial. Whether it's through community programs, government initiatives, or simply spreading the word, we can all play a part in making climate-smart agriculture the norm rather than the exception. So, the next time you sit down to eat, take a moment to think about where your food comes from and the journey it took to get to your plate. Every bite is a chance to support practices that benefit our planet. Climate-smart agriculture isn't just a trend. It's a movement towards a more sustainable future, and we all have a role to play in it. In conclusion, climate-smart agriculture is about more than just farming. It's about fostering a relationship with our environment that prioritizes sustainability, resilience, and productivity. It's a way to ensure that we can feed the growing population while preserving the planet for generations to come. So, let's embrace these practices, support our farmers, and work together to create a future where food is grown in harmony with nature. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about agriculture, it's about our planet, our health, and our future. Let's get smart about it.